Okay. Welcome to the Bear Straits Native Corporation video documentation on Barry Agulak and Fish Aguda. I'm Agnes Ivanov Baptiste from Unicleet, Alaska. Today we are doing a presentation and a documentary on how to make Eskimo ice cream with fish and Eskimo ice cream aguda with blueberries. The difference between a fish aguda and a berry aguda is that the berry uh, aguda basically consists of a base with berries. And the fish aguda is made with a base, fish, and berries. So you have an added uh, ingredient with the uh, fish aguda. Aguda, Eskimo ice cream is healthy, nutritious, and wholesome, which supply protein, vitamins, animal fat for body heat and energy needed for the cold, Arctic environmental conditions and climate. Variations of the differences are according to seasonal availability in each region. I am making the gudaks in the traditional way to honor our elders using animal fat, which is dunuk in Eskimo, berries and sea oil, and using the hand method for mixing the ingredients. This documentation is to preserve its recipe methods for future generations. This is going to be nice. Get a wooden bowl or a stainless steel bowl. And your first ingredient is two, uh, two cups of uh, tallow. And with tallow, it comes in chunks. So you have to grate it so that it, it's easy to handle. Okay, we're going to add two tablespoons of, this is corn oil, but you can use Wesson oil or uh, olive oil. Some people prefer to use the oil of their choice. So after you add two tablespoons of oil, you kind of integrate it a little bit, and this is where the whipping and the, and the stirring starts. Traditionally, hands are used to give the towel warmth and uh, easier to integrate and to start mixing. So this process takes probably oh, half an hour to 45 minutes when you're preparing. It just takes a lot of effort to do all this. So it would be a nice family affair to um, do this project. I can remember watching my grandmother come in with towel and flake the towel and start adding mixtures and we'd go outside in the, up to the cache and chop up some berries for her to mix in. You could see how they're getting together and piecing together so it'll start softening up too become a creamy base. Okay, I'm gonna save this because I'm gonna use this up with, with the uh, fish. You have, this is the after picture of the uh, tallow that was um, grated, and you can see how fine that this tallow has developed, and it's very creamy. Now that we have the creamy consistency, we're going to add the sugar, but when we add the sugar, you add it gradually and uh, stir. And the important thing about having this uh, sugar added as a sweetener, the sugar has, has, ha has to uh, dissolve for in, a, in, a, in order to uh, have a smooth consistency. That sugar really adds volume, so you'll have you'll notice that when you're wrapping up your project for uh, a good look, it really 
fluffs up, but the important part is that you don't have any grittiness of the sugar. It has to be dissolved, and that takes an awful lot. And I'm using sugar, but a lot of people have um, sugar, raw sugar restrictions, so you could use uh, sweeteners like the substitute uh, sugar sweetener and it wouldn't affect the consistency of, of the uh, agouda. And some people use olive oil, but we're making it traditionally so that we can preserve this method for our future generations. This is looking good. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have the base, this is going to be for the fish berry agouda. And we're going to alternate adding the fish. The first process will be to add and fold in the, the fish. Do you want the fish to adhere to the base and you want to judge your consistency so that it's got, it's not stiff enough so you can add your berries and when you're doing this at home you have when you pick wall berries you have to clean your berries of leaves And I'm using uh, frozen berries, but when you use soft berries, you need to be real careful to fold in so you're not mushing the blueberries. And you let this sit for a little while so that they, they blend a little and you'll mix it back up. Okay, this is the product of the fish agouda. With the blueberry or any berry, a good up, you can use salmon berries, blueberries, blackberries, uh, salmon berries that we call cloud berry. With the gudok, it's used for many purposes. I have it as a dessert, a dish for cultural celebrations, dances, ceremonies, uh, birthday parties, graduation, special occasions. It's made to honor someone who is celebrating an occasion or an event in the community. For practical purposes, the uh, hunters uh, we'll take a gulag out as a side side dish when when they're traveling and are uh, too busy to prepare. The wives will prepare ahead of time a dish for them for their travel and return. 